It's Monday. On Monday, you have to play the new weekly because it's the only day you get to play before the Belgian chemical engineers come home from work and data mine the weekly to figure out what the exact optimum strat is and then run that for the next six days. Okay? So we absolutely, we, we could not not play today. Give me a 2-3. Give me a 2-2. Two, two, give me a 1-3. I don't know what's going on this weekly. I'll be, a, I'll be an overpowered turtle. Certainly the devs thought so. Can you flash the pack real quick? Honestly, I thought about it, but then I thought, you know what? I'd rather just not know. I'd rather not know the the sauce this week and just try to sight read it and just see how see how they run, you know? Just close your eyes, because I can see the code anyway. Okay, four mice. Speaking of see how they run. So far, so good. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm going to say you take two of these. I'm going to say you take two of these. I'm going to roll once. I'm going to say you take one of these. Let's see what we get. It's a blowfish. I'm, I'm a noted blowfish hater, I think. We're going to run Big Marmoset. No mods yet. It's a disaster. Okay, these iguanas are not doing enough. <laughs> and by enough, I mean anything at all. You take one of these. Stay frosty. Ah, however, one of these. I'd love a double stork, man. Hold on. Send me one of these. Send me one of these. Give me this shit right here. I believe in it. My points, my points. You don't understand. You don't understand what you're dealing with. Oh crap, they got a camel. It's all right, it's working out. We're gaming. Okay, this is a strong camel, but so what? Wait, remember when I said, so what? We draw. We win, thanks to the iguana. Okay, now you gotta... Now you gotta be a little smarter. One of these. Penguin, I haven't seen this guy in forever. Give two level two and level three friends one attack and one health. Okay, sure. Like, if you're gonna be around, then let's stick around. Let's sell your ass. Let's put your ass out here. Probably like that. This is a great freezer tunity. Absolutely, absolutely. No, no sweat. No sweat right now. Oh, man. You should see your face if I had a pineapple, but I don't. Level 2 crab, though. Okay. Okay, it's a strong team. But this is a great time to have a snail. It's not so bad. So. Honestly, your ass is gone. I, don't, I simply don't believe in you. One of these. Roll me. One of these. Sell the hedgehog? The hedgehog's not our problem. You're barking up the wrong damn tree. Be careful, because this bark bites back. You really gave me a hamster? Two six! That's the, like, the only crap you could have spat out that wouldn't have gotten me a, at least a draw. You got the audacity to spit out a 2-6 goose? I'll tell you. This, we're on lethal. This is the sauce right here. These are two very strong units. I was literally just about to say, thank God there's no weakness in the pack. Turns out, there's some weakness in the pack. Turns out, it doesn't matter. Buffalo? No thanks. You take one of these. You take one of those. And you know what? I'm rolling. Not interested. 
probably should be interested, but I'm choosing to pretend not to be. Now you can go all the way. We just, is chocolate in the weekly? That's the only spoiler I want. Otherwise, no spoilers, please. I lived. Get him again. I lived. No, it's not. Oh my god, we lived. <laughs> no chocolate, but there is a crow. Okay, okay. Ooh, it's Wednesday. It's Monday, Lemon. Give me one of these. Combine you. Honestly, honestly, honestly. Freeze, 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 freeze. Roll once. I'm a genius. Hold me here. That's a nasty stork, dude. That's a nasty looking stork. They've got their they got their own brain trust. They ran the same damn thing. Didn't matter. Didn't matter at all. Vulture is useless now? What yeah, what was it saying there? It was saying like level one, so it can't shoot anymore or something? Yes. Level five zebra. It's a good it's a good buy me, sell me. It only gets two feints per shot now. Shoots every other death. Oh man. That's like that's a clumsy nerf, but I can see why they did it. Check this out, okay? Sell me? Five gold. Buy me? Little stat boost. Sell me? Little stat boost. Buy the goose. Basically, you're just here to exist and make our shop a little bit better because now we got just the tier four is our lowest. It's not a goose, it's a swan. It's the same, it's the same shit. Don't steal my lemon and tell me it's raining. You're lucky. Good weekly so far. Dude, with six wins on the side read. Sell me? I'm gonna do it. This is a very expensive buy me, sell me, tier six me. I mean, there's something to this for sure. I'm thinking, okay? I know I got the tier ones right there. But what do you sell? You're giving, okay, you sell the penguin, keep the moose. Sell the moose, keep the penguin. Sell both they asses? Sell both they asses. Buy me, buy me. Cockroach me. Freeze me. Freeze me. Love me, love me, say that you love me. We lost. <laughs> it's the most uh, insane team I've ever seen. Or is it? Or is it? Yeah, yeah, no, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I still, I think we probably lose with our old team too, but we might not have. Still, I'll take six. We lost so much in the early game there. We win in the early game, you never know. That could be an eight or a nine. Thought it was a reasonable pivot. Thank you. People are so positive today. Let me get a two cost apple. I'm just like very much not a fish guy anymore. But if you give me two of them, so be it. Be a confused break. We draw this. Yeah. Buy me. Don't hit the mouse. Ooh, actually everything here is disposable. No matter what you hit, I'd be disappointed. But you know what? It is what it is. Two, three, two, three, two, three. Is this allowed? We draw these, okay. Just watch Minion's Rise of Guru. Looking good today, King. Excuse me, it's called the Rise of Guru? It's not called the Rise of Guru. You're thinking of Wild Wild Country. Did you just watch Wild Wild Country? That's a hell of a documentary. I Honestly, I wish I could watch it for the first time. Pill me? 
Buy me. I love a stork. Buy me. Sell me. Buy me. Two five. You know what? Buff me. I'm just messing with you now. Ooh, what do you got for me? Not good enough. More capybaras. Thoughts on the new number one in the ATP rankings? As you know, I'm a devoted um, men's tennis viewer. I love watching tennis, especially tennis where men play against men. Um, I don't support the ATP's decision, okay? Because I think Pete Sampras should be an honorary number one. Like the way that he's... He dominated Wimbledon for like 10 years. They should retire his number at number one, like the way that Wayne Gretzky's retired, number 99 league-wide. Anyway, who's number one now? I couldn't tell you who's num number one. Oh, it's Roger Federer? Let's go! I love that guy because I was a teenager when he got to probably when he... Oh, no, his name is Carlos Alcatraz. This I know is not Alcatraz. Alcaraz. I don't know. I don't. I mean, I just don't know anything about tennis, honestly. Anything? Maybe? 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 I guess. All of my tennis knowledge is is from about two thousand. 2002 until maybe 2008 at the best. And then I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. I bet I could, there's one active women's tennis player I can name. Her name is Siwa Tech. <laughs> is that her? Yes, of course I know who Marat Safin is. And Andy Murray, and your Leighton Hewitts, and your Swee Attack. I knew that. I knew that. Okay, hold on. We can. This looks bad, but we can go off here. Level two kangaroo. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, Serena. I know Serena just retired. I mean, come on. I know the. I know the goat. Don't try to insult me by suggesting I don't know the goat. You try to get me in trouble. She hasn't retired. She retired from the tennis that counts, which is singles. <laughs> no, no disrespect to um, Daniel Nestor and that other Canadian guy who won the gold in the Sydney Olympics. I don't remember his other uh, his partner's name. David Nalbandian, something like that. Boris Yeltsin. I remember it was Boris Yeltsin. That was a bizarre month on the tour. Hey, hold on. One of these. Roll me. Ooh, a level three. You should not have. And yet, you have. Sell me. Buy me. Buy me. I'm still content with this. We freeze this. Yes. I, I think this is, a, this is looking great right now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay with this. This is a just like old time squad. You're not wrong. Plus a stork, which is just it's just a cool boy. I don't know. I mean, cool boy is a weird expression because in my head, anybody else play a bunch of cool borders too when they were a kid? All I heard in my head was cool borders. Hold on. I bet, I bet I can poison your minds. Cool borders two intro. This is one of the first games I had for the PlayStation One. Play the PlayStation sound first. Sony Computer Entertainment Europe presents from UEP Web systems. systems. Web Systems, I remember that. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. It's coming. It's just loading. It's loading. It just takes some time. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention? Okay, that's actually a song. I got to get to the title screen. 
One sec. Here it is. Cool was that? How was my impression? Cool borders. Cool borders. Oh man, what a game. Anyway, <laughs> nevertheless. Um, okay, one of those. Okay, and then honestly, I think your ass is gone. Bye bye. And you're gonna be like a you're gonna be a 10-10 on round seven. Let me make you a 10-10 with garlic. I'm gonna move your ass up here. Everything else I'm content with. Let's give a fish some honey just to justify it. So they gave the fish honey, so we did it. Like a dummy. You know what I'm talking about? Common? I used to love her. It's a song about a lady, but the lady is actually the state of modern rap music. No? Okay. Toe up from the flow up. Surrounded by plenty of gorgeous Florida women. But this pimp out in Georgia. Hold up. Those boys will have you sleeping in the drink when they come around the corner. She trapped in my cadmium palace. Uh, sorry. This is, I'm getting a lot of complaints lately. The stream is a little bit esoteric. A little bit hard to uh, follow. If you, if you miss a week, I need to make it a little bit more accessible again. I need to be a little bit less... Um, Avengers Infinity War, a little bit more like Ant-Man or something like that. That's, that's the complaint that I got from Kevin. But anyway, um, like, just, I'm going to, so you know what? It's round eight. I got to roll past that. I'm sorry. I got to roll past this. For now, why don't you take a, a damn grape? Why don't you justify your existence? I sleep on these. Common has to be one of the best rappers that I um, think is really bad at rapping. Is that okay to say? Can I say that without getting um, kicked out of the, the taste-making circles? Yes, he's kind of ass. <laughs> well, I don't know if I... It's like, I guess, I just... I only know the, the bird's eye view of Common as a rapper, which is that he thinks he's better than all other rappers. Because other rappers will be like, you know, I'm so gone on Patron, I don't even know how I'm getting home later on. And Common is like, I went to the street to find my soul, but when I picked up my spoon, there was no bowl. And everyone's like, oh shit, an erudite rapper. He's rapping, metaphorically speaking. And I just, I find it like so, I don't know, I just, if, if you're going to be that pretentious, I don't even know if he's pretentious, but like if, if you, the, the conceit that I have of your rapping is that it's going to be that pretentious, it's got to be damn good. Like some of the stuff that Kanye West says and does is ridiculous. But then he's like, you know. We was practicing, and one day your ass bust through the packaging. You know what, though? You my favorite accident. So go ahead, pop some Cristal for my newborn child. And I'm like, you know what? Justified. Justified. And every once in a while, he goes, scoop dee poopity scoop poop dees poop dees poopity scoop And then I'm like, ah. Uh, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Anyway, sorry. I'm going <laughs> to... Oh, because I'm selling my stork. Yeah, sure. I don't think we're going vulture anymore. I snooze on the vulture. I, lemon is a must, uh, must buy upgrade. It's Wednesday lemon. Maybe a crow. I don't know. I just, I, I love leveling my unit. I don't care who knows it. That's all I got. What a week, huh? Any thoughts on Run the Jewels? I only know that song that was in every movie and political rally for like four years in 2017. Picture this. I'm Jimmy e. Glick. Put me to your lips. Martin Short on the TV. Uh, to make me chortle. Anyway, so I forgot. That's the only one I know. Nobody Speak. Yeah, that's the one. The Bernie Sanders song. Okay, level me. I mean, eat me. You can just chill for a second. We don't have to spend on you. We can just feed you like that.
How good is Rage Against the Machine, by the way? Sometimes it just comes on in the car, and I'm like, why don't I ever listen to this band except when I'm angry? So close. I'll just be like minding my own damn business. Zach De La Rocha comes in. He's trying outside the door. Now there's a bang, bang, bang. He's throwing his, Tom Morello's throwing his guitar into a garbage disposal and pushing the big green button. He's playing the Seinfeld bass backwards through an amp. He's using his amp as a microphone. He's playing a double neck bass into a talk box while Bon Jovi cries himself to sleep in the corner. What the hell am I doing? Okay, step one. You're about to level. You can skip around. Sell your ass. Buy your ass and then buy your ass so that when I sell your ass, you don't replace the things in my shop that I wanted. Buy your ass. We could have done a buy sell. Okay, that's fair. your ass <laughs> freeze all this shit right here I love this freeze me foods justifiable foods ah, I'd probably sit on that okay it's the damn dream team could have had butterfly oh we're gonna have butterfly next time anyway as long as we don't die my one up my squad My squad, my squad, he is squatting. Okay, there's our butterfly. We don't need extra attack. We wanna freeze every tier five that's ever existed. Freeze me. I don't wanna garlic you, we can do better. We can get a lemon. It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday, Lemon. You're not a tier four, tier four, whatever. One up? Any of you Any of you need a one up? Not really. I'm rolling them. There's just not, nothing that tickles the fancy here. I roll. Probably freeze this son of a bitch. Probably roll. I would, I would unfreeze again to try to get a level two walrus. Give the whole damn squad death touch. Move the caterpillar. Oh, yeah, it's in prime crocodile range, huh? <laughs> well, um, what do we do there? That's six wins. I mean, even if we moved the crocodile, we were not moving it into a position where it was going to survive that. That was, that was nasty, man. Holy cow. Hey, maybe Croc goes hard this week. But this has been has been fine so far. It's been a fun weekly. There's some scaling, some good units. Let's be a smooth monk. Ant luck. Ant doesn't matter. We win this one. Casino me? I didn't even run the casino. We need a pit boss, man. Sure. Pre-order some apples. Just for now. NL, you're a Bladi stan, right? I, I, I know a lot of Bladi songs, especially the one that goes, Do not enter is written on the doorway. Why don't you just go away? Except you, you can stay. It's my favorite Bladi song. So true, so true. The song's originally by uh, Chib Lee. Chib Lee. A good unit, maybe? Any good units in the call? We don't, Dog is slanderous this week. We don't touch it. We don't even think about it. Hit the ants. 
Good ant luck. You love to see it? It's pronounced bloody. Yes, I know. Thank you for keeping me honest. I get it. It's like a trick question. You're like, well, how's it pronounced? And I'm like, when I said it right, you're like, he's in. This guy's part of the drained gang. I understand. I'd like to reverse the order of my squad, please. Samsung. Don't even start. I, Dude, you don't even realize. I get so much mileage out of the story that I say Samsung and Americans make fun of me. I tell this story to chat all the time and then chat makes fun of me. Then I tell it to my Korean in-laws and they're like, he's spitting. They're like, this is a damn truth. Then they tell me fucked up shit. Like they're from Korea, but when they're in America and they say like, Hyundai? People are like, no, it's Hyundai. And you're like, really? This shit is from like Pohong. The audacity. The, the, the deception. Okay, one of these. Who says it like that? I don't know, I don't, I don't drive a Hyundai, okay? I drive a Bugatti. It's from England, where they make the best cars in the world with the best reputations, like the uh, Range Rover and Land Rover. Okay, we know that Kangaroo goes off this week. We know that Giraffe always goes off. Not interested. Very interested. That could come in handy. What color is your Bugatti? It has the pearlescent, opalescent um, paint job that just got announced in Car and Driver last month. So it's like it's purple when you're looking at it from like a diffused angle. When you're looking at it from an acute angle, that shit is like green. It looks like a, like a small mouth bass. Sexy as hell. Okay, I think you're gone. You're... You're also gone. Sorry, I forgot you existed. Now, you're going to get buffed by a giraffe. You're going to get buffed by yourself as well. Or by bacon. Smallmouth bass. Sexy as hell. On the plate, for sure. Yes, chef. How dare you. Do you hear my stomach growl, by the way? <laughs> It actually went... Why do you never see... Um, and this is not a pun. Why do you never observe bass on a restaurant menu? You always see soul. If you're eating at a place that hates uh, endangered species, maybe a Chilean sea bass, maybe a tilapia, something like that. Obviously a salmon. A haddock, a halibut, for sure. A cod. Where the? What's going on with the bass? They taste not good. I've eaten more bass in my life than any other fish except salmon, I think. Bass is good. Bass tastes like a damn... It tastes like a muddy lake. I love bass. I grew up eating bass. That's why, like, bass for me is, like, the... That's the default fish. And cod, I'm like, ooh, why is this thing that lived in the ocean so fucking wet? She the wettest in the building. Wet, wet. Anyway. These Kingston pills. See? You, ever, you think I don't go down a... That good old Canadian boy goes down to Collins Lake catching some large mouth, small mouse bass with his grandpa. Cooking it up on an electric grill on one of the thousand islands. Let's go. Eh, ah, screw it. He can shoot. He can score. Look out. Y'all, it's Bobby. He does not say y'all. Look out, boys. It's Bobby Orr. Let's go. This is Don Cherry. Don't look Don Cherry. I'm just be I, under no circumstances do you have to hand it to Don Cherry, okay? But that song from Rock'em Sock'em goes pretty hard. There's got to be a good unit in the squad here. Honestly, your ass is gone, brother. Ooh, scorpion. That girl is poison. 
Three squad on round nine, round eight. <laughs> it's a bit unusual. Mm, a bit atypical. Yeah, we're not making it out of this one. That's okay. It was it was worth it in all ways but the physical. Okay, scorpion, scorpion. Let's see how cool your crocodiles are now. That's where you want them. That is where you want them. I'm not point shaving. Don't accuse me of giving you the headache, Smith, okay? I'm just, I'm honestly just playing my game. And sometimes people have a problem with that for whatever reason. More. I mean, what do you want me to do with this lemon? Oh, yeah, put it right there. There's no world in which that's justifiable. I gotta take a crocodile! Nice, uh, nice good units would be a shame if uh, they traded, uh, shall we say, unfavorably with me. We win these. Hey Ryan, give us an anecdote. Well, I, I used my best one from the weekend during plate up when I was changing my daughter's poopy diaper. She sat down on my freaking sock and rubbed poop all over my sock. And then I went, Ew! and then she got scared. So she tried to clean up the poop with her hand. So I had it normally is not that much fun to change a poopy diaper to begin with. But then she this diaper change, she turned it into uh, also I have to do some laundry. And then also I had to wash her hands. And then also I had to wash my hands. But I guess I normally wash my hands after changing the poopy diaper anyway. But. Okay, level me. I'm so smart. <laughs> I'm so stupid. I'm so, I'm so fucked up. It's not that bad. I mean, it's kind of, you know what? I just realized that could go hard here. It's part of the cost of doing business. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Like, sometimes people say, like, they'll hear something like that and say, like, that's why I'll never have kids. And I'm just like, this is an insane squad. You're, you're incredible. I'm like, yeah. Okay, like, you're not getting one over on people. Like, if you're soft as hell, then sure, don't have kids. And to thine own self be true. It's not that big of a deal in the whole scheme of things. Okay, check this out. That's the play. Check this out. This is the damn play. And we got so many free rolls. Oh, baby. Um, so, oh, baby. Okay, okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. That's cool, that's hip. I'm with it. Why do you keep the marmoset? Um, we have a... Uh, we have a mobile viewer spotted. This is unfortunate. It's unfortunate, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate, we're dead. We're dead. That's unfortunate. Okay, six, another six. Six again. Right, really, six again in front of my salad? Any insane takes today? I actually, I had an insane take this weekend, but I didn't tweet much, which was smart. But so I'll give you my insane take instead. My insane take this weekend was how annoying would Twitter have been during the entirety of the Cold War? Holy shit, it would have been miserable, man. Let me be an insolent copycat, by the way. 
Can you imagine, like, it's like the 80s, and you're like, oh, Back to the Future just came out. Wow, such a good movie. Robert Zemeckis. Wow, Michael J. Fox. Wow. Oh, I'll try to get to the theater. If um, Brezhnev doesn't blow up my house with a nuclear ICBM, how can you be tweeting about Back to the Future at a time like this? Red Dawn? Oh, a movie where uh, Russia and America are at war? No thanks. I'll save the two fifty I would have spent on a movie ticket and just turn on the news. It would have been it would have been miserable, man. It would have been horrendous. It sounds like Twitter today. Yes, it does. Yes, it. Now that doesn't mean that Twitter today is wrong. Eighties Twitter could have been wrong, and then maybe today, like the world actually is going to end. But. I want my, all my jokes to still be statistically valid. JFK's feed would be epic though. Twitter in the 60s. But Twitter in the 60s would be pretty annoying as well. well maybe the take home message is that Twitter is just annoying, I guess. But like, I don't know. I would love your thoughts on this. Let's, let's take a raccoon, okay? I just kind of like him. I just think he's neat. We'll take a marmoset to possibly get to a level three to enable a bison. Imagine how fired Don Draper's Twitter uh, feed would be. Dude, Don, we don't need Don Draper. We have Gary Vaynerchuk. I, 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 I literally turned the planter's peanut into a baby, and it made $100 million. What's stopping you from going down to a garage sale and bilking some retiree out of a cup that she's selling for $450 that you can flip on Facebook Marketplace for $12? You got a, you've got a phone in your pocket. Sorry. Sorry. Level three. Phone bad. Father, how do I click on yard sale? I will say though, when I was a kid, my grandparents took me to a lot of flea markets, a lot of yard sales, always had a good time. It seems like one of those hobbies that the internet has kind of ruined though. At least if, you're, if your main reason to go to them was to try to get a deal, it seems like now, what can you do? Cause like, don't you just go and you're like, hey, there's a twenty dollar baseball card they're selling for ten bucks, and then when you go to buy it, they just look it up and they're like, actually, that'll be twenty twenty dollars. Oh no, it's accurately priced. Yeah, but I like drove to this to the flea market and it smelled. I'm getting like black mold spores in my lungs and stuff like that. I got, if I wanted to pay the accurate price for it, I would just buy it on the internet. What market are you going to? The Vancouver Fleet Market. I'm sorry, I have too many choices here. I did, because I was reading, um, there's like what, thrift grift and thrift store halls and stuff like that. Thrift grift is a subreddit for people who ha find insanely badly priced things at uh, Goodwill. It'd be like some insane shit, like a, an old cassette tape. It'll be like, this is $20. And you're like, oh, sorry. I, I use Thrifty Boy, okay? That's, I eat the ketchup packets that I just steal from tables at the restaurant, at the Starbucks where I get my stolen Wi-Fi using my brother's laptop. Okay, so I hold, hold, sorry, sorry, sorry. You're not good enough. You're, you might be like the most ass of all. Am I willing to go three squatted or four squatted here? I think I am. Wouldn't it be nice if we could do it? Is your brain just constant cost benefit analysis? Well, yeah, I mean, to some extent. I think it's the human mind. Sometimes people say, like, why don't you just like have fun? I'm like, first off, this is natural for me, so it already feels like having fun. Secondly, um, like when people say stuff like, why don't you just have fun? That sounds like a way of being like, why don't you just lower your standards to the point where you like to eat shit? Like, I'm just, 
Like if something's shitty, I don't want to be like, hold on, let me pretend I'm stupid for like an hour and have a great time. I, you know, I'll just continue to be slightly above average intelligent, but talk like I'm substantially more intelligent than the average person, thus allowing the maximum feeling of superiority over the common man. And the largest gulf possible between my perception of my abilities and my actual concrete results from those abilities. I want a level three raccoon. I'm ready for it. I don't want a level three fish. Your ass is gone. You know what, for now, I'm willing to give you one of those. That's how I feel when people say, just turn your brain off and enjoy it. I know, that's what I'm, I agree. I couldn't agree more. I'm stealing your croissant. I'm stealing your croissant. I, do, I don't know. And sometimes I wish I could do that. I wish I could. Unfortunately, I can't. I'm simply too intelligent. Has anyone mentioned the NL? He looks like he's allergic to dairy. Um, minus two. I ate an entire block of Manchego this weekend. It was delicious. I, enjoy, I ate it in like a day. I'm not going to apologize. OMG, are you okay? I don't need to answer that question. Penguin is 10 wins here. All right, but only because you probably would like bully me if I didn't take it. Man who loved Tenant. Tenant, you gotta... Listen, you don't understand, okay? Tenant's really... It's a really dumb movie if you are smart. But if you're stupid, Tenet is genius. And that's sick. The whole MG I am? Well, I have, do I have the movie for you? And I know this sounds like I'm insulting Tenet. I'm not insulting Tenet. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. Don't screw me on this one. You have to have a very low IQ to understand Tenet. I will say, you know why I think I like uh, Tenet so much? It's because I've never been one of those people who like leaves a, mo a movie and then goes like, yeah, I mean, I enjoyed it, but like, what about that scene with the helo jump? How did we, and what are we supposed to, like I've, I've and then, like you ever leave a movie and people will ask you a question about like the kinematics of something? So wait a minute. They were climbing up the hill and then they get ambushed at the top of the hill with the camera facing in the other direction. So they were meant to believe they didn't see someone climbing the hill even though they were looking at the direction they were climbing. When I'm watching the movie, I'm like, oh shit, dude just got jumped, man. That dude just got jumped. It's not what I do. I just, I, but to be honest with you, I know we just talked about this, but I think I kind of turned my brain off when I watch the movie. But not to the extent that I'm like, hey, let me watch some diarrhea, like the Transformers sequels or the original. But like to the extent where I'm like, the details don't have to line up. If someone says something like, well, and then we'll put, just put some aluminum foil on the spaceship and we'll be fine. I'd be like, damn, I guess it works like that. They probably did their research. Who am I? Who am I to say that they didn't do their research? Let's go. Okay, now the dream is we start running up against endless scorpion teams. The dream is we sell your ass. We buy this. I'm selling your ass. I'm buying this. Then I'm rolling. I'm selling your ass. I'm buying this this motherfucker right here. Feel free to screenshot. Please give me a scorpion. 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 You're not a scorpion. No, we go off here. That's okay. Sell Marmoset. You don't need it anymore. Yeah, I kind of need it to be a like a. I kind of need it to like be a like an eighteen twelve. I think, not to bring up the war, or whatever, but.
I did see the new Predator movie. I, I did think it was good. I enjoyed it. Okay. I think I think this marmoset's sticking around. I think it needs to take a lemon. Yeah, I'm okay with this. Please, I just want, let me blow out a scorpion. I'm stealing your garlic. I'm stealing your garlic. It didn't do that much. It didn't do that much. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm living. I'm no longer scared. Bro thought Prey was good, but shit's on Tenet. I'm not resubbing next month, Jesus. I love Tenet! I love uh, Tenet. I went to the Tenet subreddit after the movie, not to answer any questions, but just because I wanted to experience more culture surrounding the movie Tenet from Chris Nolan. The top post of all time is when you have to take a shit, but you're inverted. And then it was like the, the, the puppet that's looking at the camera like this. Because he's scared. I just think Tenet... I cannot explain to people like why it's good i just think i mean i guess the reason i like it is because the whole time i was watching it i was like it's like the anti george lucas you know people always say like george lucas needs somebody who can like say no to him i'm like man chris nolan needs like less people to say no to him because this dude's going crazy this guy's going off get take take more of the restrictors off him because he's He's doing some ambitious stuff that makes absolutely no sense, but is like kind of at least as long as it has Robert Pattinson in it, just keep making that. He's actually going to detonate a nuclear bomb for Oppenheimer. Honestly, good. That would save me having to go to the theater. And who even knows? I mean, what's going to happen with the Cuban Missile Crisis. And did you hear about this thing with the nuclear sub, where it, it required the, the strength of will from one man in order to pre prevent nuclear annihilation? How long is that going to go on for? How, how many times do you think that's going to work out for us? No, I'm not, no, not going to take my recycling out. There's impending nuclear war. Hold on, hold on. This, is, this is big. Do it. We're on eight. It's our best run of the weekly so far. Is NL doing a Woody Allen bit? What do you? I just have glasses. It's not a bit. I just have like my eyes are not that good. In fact, they're worse than not that good. They're just they're genuinely bad. I'm rolling. What a bit. Stop it. It's not a bit. This is my life. Please. This this is where I'm going to anchor my enjoyment for the whole weekly. If we could get a 10 piece here, I'm inclined to say is one of the best weeklies that's ever been made. If we get a draw here, I would I would be okay with that. Stealing your chili pepper. Ooh, tough luck. I am stealing your croissant. I'm not stealing your death touch, though. That's We're going to win. We won. Let's go. And achievement unlocked. Dude, the raccoon's kind of sick with it now. Imagine a world with no glasses. Yeah, they I probably, like, I would think my parents probably would have just thrown me off a cliff or something. And I couldn't really blame them. Although they wouldn't know my eyes were bad until I was like old enough to communicate well. So they'd have to probably train for a little bit because I might be like five years old by the time that information comes out. I, at that point, you, I, I hope you've been putting in some work in the gym. I might be like, you know, 100 pounds. Well, I don't know if I, I'm doing the math in my head. I'm like, five years old, 100 pounds? That doesn't seem right. I'm pretty sure that I wasn't 100 pounds until like the 8th grade or something, but whatever. Yeah, all right. Mm, how about a gushing buttocks? I'm 
I'm gonna lose to Mike Games. That's painful. It's math. It's so true. What's that guy up to? This is not a knock on math. This is, we're not beefing. It's not toxicity. Every once in a while, at like 1 a.m. his time, I'll just see a tweet that's like, oh shit, did they really announce the aliens thing today? And then like, it turns out they didn't. And that's like the end of the story. I don't have anything else there, but it's just... I'll be like, right before bed, I'll, I pick up uh, my phone, I look at Twitter, Math is just like, oh shit, Harry Reid's about to declassify the alien documents. I check Twitter the next day, he's like, it's a Chiluminati episode about John Wayne Gacy Jr. I guess they didn't declassify the, the Roswell autopsy video. Nice Woody Allen bit. What is it? What are you even talking about? Hold on, by the way. What are you even talking about? Woody Allen bit. Drugs? What do you mean? Buying them? Selling them? Name that movie. This was not the right order for this squad, man. And we're still gonna draw. <laughs> Just give me five. Just give me five. Five minutes, Denny? Five minutes? I don't have five frickin' minutes, Denny! Who's your favorite character from the room? I think I'm gonna take Chris R. Okay. Chris R was so good. I mean, he, you could just as soon as he walks on the on the s sound stage, he's just so physically imposing. He's got his uh, he's got his tank top on, his extra small tank top. He's got his beanie on. You know he's not messing around. Doggy. Okay, Doggy honestly went pretty hard in that movie too. I'm rolling. I'm willing to lose this round. What's the mom's name again? Claudette? Why did I even ask? <laughs> I know what the mom's name is. It's Claudette. Don't you ever forget. Oh, man. Psycho. What is that? There's nothing psycho about that. Okay, this is a big turn. Level me. Level me. Okay, I know this. Ooh, what? <laughs> sorry, sorry. Now we can, yeah, yeah, yeah. Roll me. Roll me in Michelle's high school reunion. Starring Lisa Kudrow and that other lady. Oh, you piece of crap. You turned that win into a draw. I don't know what I'm doing with the bison. I know, it's, it's not easy to get to a... I know this looks weird. It's not easy to get to a level 3 Marty right now. I gotta unfreeze you. I, th I think that's too perspective. I don't think it's gonna happen. Your ass is happening, though. <laughs> like a Mark Wahlberg, Zoe Deschanel movie. Fancy shirt. You gotten any 10 pieces today? I'll have you know I have received a 10 piece today. I worked very hard for it. Okay, I do think we need a sniper. You're an interesting character here. Any reason the stream's so heavy with Mark Wahlberg references? Well, yesterday was a ceremonial day and I, because I follow people on Twitter who have no decorum, that means I got to see a lot of tweets of the quote that Mark Wahlberg said about September 11th, where he said if he was on that plane, there was no shot they would have actually been able to hijack it. Let me find the exact quote so I'm not slandering him. 
Mark Wahlberg says he wouldn't have let a plane crash into the World Trade Center on September 11th. In an interview with Men's Journal, noted publication, some of the best interviews, uh, <laughs> I believe David Frost interviewed Richard Nixon for Men's Journal uh, back, in the, back in the 70s. Hey, Kong Sphere, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. The contraband actor, who was actually scheduled to be on one of the planes that crashed, said, if I was on that plane with my kids, it wouldn't have went down like it did. There would have been a lot of blood in that first class cabin, and then me saying, okay, we're going to land somewhere safely, don't worry. Why did he have to say first class cabin? I, I didn't assume that you flew coach. You didn't have to add in the, the first class part. I would never expect to waddle my way back to seat 38J and be like, holy shit, you'll never guess who I'm sitting next to. The guy from Contraband. Anyway. The quote is from a section of the interview that covers Wahlberg's maturation from bad boy Marky Mark to, as George Clooney puts it, a really interesting man who has mellowed but still retained his toughness. Interviewer Eric Hedegaard asked Wahlberg about a bar brawl he once got into. The actor replied, when you put your hands on me, it's a problem. <laughs> oh, man. You know what I got to say to that? You know what would have happened if I was in the first class cabin in one of those planes? I would have crapped my pants and then I would have said... Cool and then I probably would have had a heart attack and died, is my guess. Okay, I lost my train of thought here. I think I'm rolling. That sounds right. Why don't you take one of those? Hippo. Hip Hippo. No! <laughs> Sell your ass into a hippo with a dodo kicker. And a, 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 an LA face and an Oakland booty. If you know what I'm saying. Why is your team so strong? Everybody on your team is better than everybody on my team? Should have played the doubters or slurping today. I don't know how Dan gets all that stuff for his soundboard. The doubters are slurping today. I don't know where we're going with this one. I need HP. Okay. Roll me. Your ass. 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 Sell cockroach? Why? Because it's a 4 6 that doesn't do anything and it sells for two gold? That makes too much sense. That's the most disheartening loss I've ever experienced in my life. One win. Zero to one. 10% of people bet on that? 10%? No from all four? How does this happen? The one piece? Okay, okay, you know 